what's up guys what's happening I bought this little toy model kit when I was a kid I had no idea what it was but it's pretty cool right I'm giving you guys every opportunity to make a show video of me that's what I'm trying to do how cool would that be my own show video so anyways did you guys have fun with the goddess in part one? I hope you did. If you're not having fun, well, you know, the other videos are somewhere else. <laughs> um, before we get back into this, I just want to uh, say thank you to you guys that are watching me. I don't have a lot of subs. I don't have a lot of views. I don't really even know if the counts are real. We've all seen them act silly lately, right? But uh, I feel like my videos are pretty good. <laughs> and uh, share them, please. Put them out there. I'm asking you, you know. I want people to see them. I like sharing. And I like, uh, really what I like is talking to you people. So the more people I have to talk to, the more fun this is. So anyways, let's get back into the goddess and mind control, okay? Um have fun you guys okay see you in a couple seconds and there she is again guys okay well that's where we left off and okay some more goddess stuff some more one boobed action and you can't I'm not dumb you guys I know sometimes there's just gonna be one boob okay but all this nip slip stuff it's just as much an agenda as, well, not as quite as big maybe, as this whole selfie thing, you guys. Okay, stop feeding into being self-obsessed, and stop feeding the facial recognition <laughs> machine, <laughs> and get a grip. People are making fools out of yourselves. I know I make videos of my face. I don't care. What are they going to do to me? <laughs> you know? So... Savage Breast, this book, I just found it online for a penny, actually, and it looks really good. One Man's Search for the Goddess. And there we have our goddess with one boob hanging out, of course. So, I don't know who this is, this angel goddess, but there she is with one boob. There's Venus, covering one boob, coming out of the half shell. Lord knows what the rest of this is going on here. I'm not a historian, or anything. You know, art. I'm an artist, but not an art major. So, and I'm presenting this video as humbly as I can to you guys. This is all new discoveries to me. And, uh, it's just so fun, I want to share it, okay? And we've all eaten this stuff up with... <laughs> we've drank it with a straw our whole lives, you know? Alright, one boob, alright? I forget which goddess this is, too. I, there's a lot of goddesses, guys. They're all the same goddess when you come down to it. Here's half of the cow goddess, right? The cows and their boobs, okay? You see at the bottom of this cartoon, somebody knows their goddess shit, okay? So, this is Newt, the Egyptian goddess, okay? And uh, you can see here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think that's actually nine-sided, so I'm just I'm going to leave that part alone, but here we have that red light, that red button, like Sonic, okay? It's everywhere. Look at my red light video, you guys, if you haven't. I know I already mentioned this today. And my V5 video. We'll get all these connections a little more clearer, okay? And here's Newt again. And she's got this red light. We saw in the last picture, right? That's her womb, right? Turns into a V, where her action is. Okay, so there she is again with the red light, which uh, is near her mouth this time. It's also up here, too. Oh my god, the Illuminati was here. Okay, here's Newt again. The dude is down here, alright? But here she is over everything. Okay? So, she's obviously very powerful. Okay, I don't know how to read hieroglyphs or anything. But um, here we go again with the womb light, all right? Shining down on everything. Like it does us today, now, in America, okay? 
And uh, there it is again, alright? I don't know what this pose really means for sure, her. She's always doing this. But to me, it symbolizes that she's in control. Everything inside there is trapped. <laughs> if you ask me. Input, guys. I love it. Give it to me. Oh, well, God, I needed an excuse to put Sharon Tate in my video, too. That red lady with her one boob. I just love her. Sharon Tate, I mean. <laughs> this is Whitney Cummings, and oh my God, she's MK too. Jeez Louise. Really, she's just the goddess. Leading us down to her V right here, right? We got a little seal of Saturn, square and compass action going in the back. And there's Minerva again, okay? Now, this picture had Whitney Cummings' name on it also, but I don't feel like it's her. Maybe it is. Anyways, taking down the one strap. Kind of like Jerry the King Lawler, except he was a dude. <laughs> Maybe that's interesting too. With the globes in the back here. <laughs> oh, Anchorman 2. Checkerboards, one boobs. Uh, fights. Apocalyptic fights with spirits. All kinds of weird nonsense. What a horrible movie. Not funny. Best part about it was my one boob catch. Okay, and here's Kristen Wiig again. She was the goddess of Anchorman 2 for sure. And like Mr. McCleary always says, all these girls always have a puppy dog following them around, right? I showed you Jenna from Degrassi in the last video. She has her Asperger boyfriend Connor always puppy dogging along. The Queen of Hearts and Alice in Wonderland had a little king always puppy dogging along. This chick had Steve Carell always puppy dogging along. They're in control. And here's Kristen Wiig again, um, doing the whole Miley thing in a Michael Jordan getup, right? So she's red, okay, and she's got the 23 on her, which is a 5 for a rebirth, fifth age, V, whatever. Okay. And she's full of bull. <laughs> and we got the mind control shaved head. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. I didn't crop this one because I didn't know it was in here. <laughs> Anyways, here's some cubes for you. We haven't talked about cubes in a little bit, right, guys? I'll get you guys some cubes soon. Alright, and I think that these chicks were just cool, so I put them in here. The Wood Sisters. Wood, nature. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, here's my new church, guys. <laughs> this is the teen program in my new church, guys. We got Saturn right here. Okay. Wiener, vagina. We even have things about to fly through it. <laughs> and we got the V for vagina, virgin, five, whatever. Revive. Be reborn, right? So, Laura, this is the security things that set off the alarm, you know, leaving Walgreens. They always have symbols all over them at Walgreens. Where you have to be well when you leave, right? We, <laughs> where does that come from? I'm pretty sure it's. Kabbalistic. But okay, allure. So they got a red light, red button here. And it's alluring. Okay. Buy shampoo and conditioner in the form of two pillars today. And come get a massage from this woman in her lotus flower vagina, seal of Saturn, square and compass ass symbol. See the red light, guys? It's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Record. Control. Oh, hey. <laughs> what would you do? I tried to show this in my red light video, but I lost the picture. I found it. This thing just flashes, okay, throughout the show. All right, this red light. And this red light appears on in various forms on different shows, okay? It's an eye, also. If you notice, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight goddess points. Okay. I do wish I had a picture of RoboCop in the new RoboCop movie too, in the previews, on a motorcycle with that red glowing octagon behind him. Okay, that's red light, goddess, mind control, action. Okay. All right, this is from the commercial for the MTV Movie Awards, which were on the other night, which had the most boring rituals yet. I thought. But anyways, this is the commercial was on for months. I pointed it out to people and they didn't really know what I was talking about. 
But this is the seed of the woman coming, right? It crashes. It goes uh, above a bucket of popcorn and it pops and falls in the bucket. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I was interrupted. So, anyways. Yes, the seed of the woman coming. And then if you watch the actual awards, the whole beginning of the show was all these meteors destroying the earth, which, <laughs> why you want to show, start your show like that, I don't know. Welcome to the Cult of Satan Awards, Conan said, right? We all saw it. Hell the Dark Overlord. No, don't woo that, we all saw it, okay. Oh, God. Sonic, there's your red button again. All lit up. Okay. Queen Latifah. Anytime you see the word queen, you guys were probably talking about a goddess, okay? She's not my idea of a goddess, but whatever. Okay, as it is above, so it is below while we're at it, okay? Latifah, I looked it up, but what did it mean? I forget. Okay, this is the um, inverted pentagram of the Eastern Star, okay? We got Jewish Kabbalah colors, okay? And, uh, I don't know if that's the Ark in the middle or just the altar, but and I don't know what these little runes or symbols really all are, but I'm just showing you that this upside-down star is the Order of the Eastern Star. It's the female division of masonry, right? Female, okay? You'll see the guys using the right side up one most of the time. L'Oreal's just, <laughs> they're notorious. Everything they do is packed with symbols, okay? And lately, they've really taken to this red white. Okay. Tracy Lords, I just need an excuse to put you here. You red lady, you with the pentagram behind you. Katie Perry, she's another one. Remember? Catherine, Katie, Kate, Hakate. Okay, she's the red lady, one eye. Okay. You guys get some of the picture. There she is again, she's always squirting something, spraying something, lactating something, you know, <laughs> with her red mind control shoes too, nice. Okay, and you see these in magazines all the time, more red buttons, more red lights, everywhere, always telling you, be sure to tune in, or whatever. Usually that red light is barking orders, okay? And it's funny when you think about society, just like I was talking about the puppy dog dudes, okay? It's just a story repeated over and over again. And um, it's like, uh, that's old slung yakety yak, don't talk back. That's, that's what we're dealing with here, okay? This bitch of a wife, or whatever you want to call her. <laughs> okay? Send your funnies. It's usually an instruction, okay? Go that way, or whatever, right? okay? Okay, now I went and saw this movie, Her, okay? Spike Jones love story, Her, with Joaquin Phoenix. This guy falls in love with his computer. His computer's name is Sam, okay? Like Samael, or however you pronounce that chick's name, all right? More goddess angel, fallen angel shit. And this guy was so obsessed, puppy dog status, that it was crazy. And the red light was all over that movie, and so are octagons. Maybe I have some more of those, I'm not sure. Princess Leia, well, you know. <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> and the goddess. Alright, you guys remember Gem and the Holograms? Uh, I don't know what I was watching on YouTube, but Gem came up, okay? Now you can see in the background, you got the seal of Saturn 2X's here, right? I loved the show when I was a kid, you know. I'm a boy, but Jem was hot, you know. So, I watched her. Now, remember, she got her uh, power from her earring. Synergy. And uh, here she is. Synergy. She would talk to this little goddess. They gave her, transformed her from Jerica into Jem. Which I looked up Jem, too. I forget what it means. It's a Hebrew name. God. I really need to get it together, huh, guys? <laughs> anyway, let's have a little more fun with Jim. Okay, Synergy, there she is again. 
Eight point star, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's seven. So actually here we're dealing with Lakshmi or whatever that other star is, okay? Or Ishtar. One of them. Okay, it's a goddess symbol. We'll go back to the eight-pointed one in a second. And here she is with one eye, okay? Which we see a lot, don't we, guys? Here's this eight-pointed star flying through the sky. There's actually one for each of Gem and her holograms, okay? They fly through the sky, they turn flat, and what do you know? It's a stage she's standing on, okay? In her V-neck. And here she is at the end. The star pentagram comes spinning out of her eye, right? And, uh... She's the goddess. That's her. Truly outrageous. In her inverted pentagram. None of us noticed this when we were kids. Our parents didn't notice it. It's hilarious. To me. It's hilarious to me. Some of you guys might not find it, so... Great. So don't open this door, even if this eye is blinking. So this is not just a red light or red button. It's telling you this is an eye. And here's your command, okay? Carly, you're MK2. No way. Okay? <laughs> you see her, right? There she is. Our little goddess. That we are all worship. I didn't even get into like the Statue of Liberty and all that stuff. But you know what? Watch Freeman's video on the Goddess of America. God, I can't remember the name of the video. But Freeman kind of really introduced me to this concept of the Goddess. McCleary made it... I don't want to say clear because I'm still confused as hell. But um, he really turned me on to this subject here. And here's your moon in the background behind these little goddesses. Okay. And this always trips me out, just this G on TV inside the square all the time. <laughs> Probably is nothing. Okay, here's Sex in the City. Here's the puppy dog, alright, and you got the redhead one, whatever her name is. I hate this shit, but I just spotted this real quick. And there's your eight-pointed symbol, okay. And, God, I think this was Miley Cyrus. I don't know what happened in this picture, but here she is on her checkered stage, right? And then, do you guys know what the hashtag means? Because I've been looking and looking. I don't know how to look it up. You can't look up hashtag Masonic symbol because all kinds of tweet shit comes up. I don't even know how to tweet. Pound sign Masonic symbol, nothing. I haven't been able to find anything yet. But I see the pound sign on a lot of stuff besides hashtags. And, um... I also see it um, in the old drawings of the, you know, Masonic symbols. You know, you see that hashtag a lot. Okay, so I went one day to Chapman University in Orange, California. You know, pretty near Disneyland, and Angel Stadium, and whatnot. And they use this eight-pointed symbol, okay? Which you and I know what it is, right? It's the goddess. You see that in just about every courtroom ever. I've seen it a lot of times, believe me. And uh, even I was watching Perry Mason this morning. It was all over Perry Mason. So This is not a new thing, you guys. There's also Brandman University, I think it's called, uses this same symbol. But I went to the California Gold event, okay? I don't know if you guys know who Huell Hauser is. In, t <laughs> in Tennessee, you guys probably know that's where he's from. And in California, he does a show, California's Gold. And he died a little over a year ago. I was very sad. I love the guy. And he would just go to the most mundane places in California and just have fun with it. And it's just a good, stupid show that I love. So they set up an archive and a library exhibit um, for him because he gave a lot of money to this school. Which I always wondered if he was a Mason. And lots of things are telling me yes. But he was real cool and I don't really care anyway. So this little statue art is on campus here, and we have suns and moons, okay, male and female, inside the square here, okay. I'm not sure what the partial squares mean so much, all right. You got two pillars here, and you got a center one. Um, McClary, I'd like your uh, opinion on this thing. Maybe you could geometrize it. <laughs> is that how you say that? Okay, and they got this eight-pointed thing all over the windows of this school. 
all over the parking structure of this school in their little pyramid right here on all the doors oh, you see it everywhere school is covered in them um, I have an ex-girlfriend she went to this school boy did I have no idea what I was getting into hanging out with this weird chick at this supposedly religious university okay she came from a what I'm gonna just call a cult called Christadelphian if anyone knows anything about it <laughs> I'd like to hear what you gotta say it was very mysterious very weird and cost me a lot and I don't mean financially financially too <laughs> okay so in the exhibit uh, Hugh liked to uh, found art, right? So he finds this thing, mounts it. It's now in his exhibit. I'll show it again a little better. And here, because I really thought he was a mason, think he's a mason. This was in the glass case, E. Clampus Vitas, I'd never heard of, but it's a fraternal order having to do with nature in uh, southwestern America. But we're not talking about that right now. So here's that uh, eight pointed thing again. Okay, it's the same as the Chapman University logo, right? You think that's why he kept it? I don't. Oh, and it's on their benches, too. Lovely, huh? Oh, and here we have another case of possession, right? Control, mind control. Okay, one eye. That red light, you guys. Start looking, it's everywhere. It is absolutely everywhere. I don't know if I didn't notice it all the time before, if it's just really in our face right now, but uh, it is really in our face right now. But And then, okay, we're getting to the last pictures here. I threw this in, BJ's, because we have a logo here that is an, uh, well, it's female, it's upside down triangle, inside a circle, so it's like double female almost, which may make it uh, not as meaningful as I'd like to think. But then you got BJ's. That reminds me of some pillars. <laughs> Boas and Yakum or Jockum or however you say it. Right, Justin Bieber? And you can have this triangle here too, which I'm not real clear on what these little triangles for are for. They're in a lot of logos. YMCA. A lot of logos. Anyways, if anyone wants to help me out with this one, that would be great. Lifetime. <laughs> now we're telling the chicks what to do, right? Because <laughs> this is the chick channel. The Goddess Network. And a piece of crap. Here's your wife. L for Hebrew God, maybe. I don't know. The L word. Just trying to connect some dots. This is the Tet. Uh, what movie is this? From Oblivion or something? I think. The Grox likes to show this thing. And it is the woman coming down in the tetrahedron or whatever. It's called the tet or the tit, the one boob, if you ask me, with the red light and a chick driving it around. And um, I haven't seen the movie, but I think this thing's supposed to be coming down like uh, MTV's popcorn kernel seed of the woman to destroy things. Okay. There's VH1 Classic with their red button light, okay, and their leaf, okay. So our leaves are turning over of new leaves. Rebirth, right? Okay. And then lastly, why is it all a secret? I don't know. But uh, we'll get into the Pisces in another video. I got a lot of a lot of those. But this thing is vaginal. It's also an eye. It's also lotusy. So we have more goddess stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my exploration into goddess symbolism. Um, agree with me? Disagree with me? Let's talk about it, you know? Uh, <laughs> I really am having a lot of fun with it. Thank you, CC Freeman, McCleary, all you guys, and um, and my viewers, too, with suggestions and stuff. We're, we're, <laughs> we're putting it together, or I am at least. I feel like I'm learning a whole new language, and it's awesome. So anyways, I hope you guys found this interesting. I think it's fascinating. And I'll see you guys all next time, okay? Um, happy Ishtar. I mean Easter, okay? <laughs> and uh, take care of each other, okay? It's really important right now. 
let's not get mad at this stuff. Let's just uh, let's just have fun around it, you know. Um, I don't really see the point in doing anything else. Um, make your pieces if you need to with whatever you know, religion you're in, whatever uh, God you worship, whatever. Um, I'm not a very spiritual guy. Uh, maybe if I was, I could see this stuff better, but I'm working on that mind control, guys. I don't know <laughs> what is what a lot of times. So anyways... You guys take it easy, alright? Love y'all.